So, on to the later drilled oats now. Uh, there's a combine behind me. Yeah, quite a few gone flat, a few bits of green here and there. Um, this is not the easiest combine, it's been a little bit slow. Uh, and because, yeah, we're back into having the wet weather, whenever it gets slightly damp, it's a bit of a pain. Um, oats are a lot more difficult to thresh than wheat is it seems to be whenever you get a tiny bit of dampness in the straw it just doesn't want to go through the combine and it wraps around in the header and it's a bit of a, a bit of a pain but we're getting there anyway yeah so into the later drilled stuff i think this was april um in a minute i'll show you a picture on the top of the combine on the top of the combine of the field behind where we were in the I think it was right at the end of April drilled field and you'll, feel, you'll see that field slightly lighter anyway this is a lot more darker but yeah there's quite a few bits of green on the floor if you can see and especially where we've got laid flat bits um, there's some green, but even in here, green, green, green. And also interestingly, on some of the, um, I mean, that might even be a wild oak. I think it is. But a lot of this later stuff, like secondary tillers that are all coming out, it's absolutely covered in yellow rust. I see that on my fingers there. Um, so the combine is currently a nice shade of uh, orange at the moment. Uh, but these oats didn't have a fungicide, but I mean, that would have worn off a long time ago if it did. Yeah, look at these secondary tillers, you can just see the yellow rust on them. And I mean, the grains, they are fit. It's coming in at 14.5% at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if the other two fields, the end of April drilled just behind there, will be ready yet. Um, there are also three-way variety blends, which will be interesting. So we've got three different colour drilling dates for our oats. There was the mid-February stuff, which has all been combined which hasn't yielded as great as i thought it would or hoped it would um you would have expected it to be the highest but i think uh, i haven't fully worked it out yet but i think it's going to be about 5.8 tons a hectare something around there which is a bit annoying because it did six and a half last year in a drought anyway um but the first field of this late well medium drilled stuff we'll say that has done uh, 6.2 in the first field. We've got one, two, three, four, four fields. So the first one's done 6.25, I think it was, um, going by the combine, um, which is surprising. Um, and then we've got two fields of that three-way variety blend I talked about, which was right at the end of April um, drilled. So I don't know. We'll see what works best because few different options to go at. few differences in the amount of fertilizer, well not fertilizer and manures that they've had. Um, so they've all had, I think it was 33 kilos of urea, which was either spread on the soil surface before drilling or down the spout, and 46 kilos of ammonium sulfate, which was spread on top, um, double top type product. Uh, so 79 kilos, 80 kilos of N, um, Feb drilled stuff had 30 tonnes a hectare of cattle manure, farmyard manure. Um, then all of the later drilled stuff had chicken muck before the OSR, which was in the autumn, which failed. Can't remember the rate off the top of my head, but should be fairly comparable. Still very green straw. As you can see, I mean, it even feels wet and we haven't had any rain for two, two or three days now. Um, so God knows when this will get bailed, but they want it, so. Just put those lights on, better get going.
onto the last field of spring oats now, uh, bringing the 23 cereal harvest to a close, almost, kind of, got some intercrops and peas to go. Um, so this was the right at the end of April drilled. Uh, the first field did 5.8 tonnes, which isn't too bad. Um, we'll see what this one does. Just looking at the peas now. I've been sprayed off a good week, 10 days, um, maybe two weeks by now. Hopefully be going in the next couple of days on these and luckily they're not all on the floor yet, which is good to see. Happy days. Pushing up the peas, trying not to get them to flow over the back. So that's peas all finished. Uh, last of all the major crops finished, I suppose to say. i um, just got one field of my intercropping trials left. Very hot week this week, um, so should get them done without drying at all. Uh, the peas are coming at less than 15% and as we've got barely any shed space it means we don't have to dry them put them through a dryer which is very good um done well on the whole between three and a half to four ton i reckon average um considering barely any growing costs and very minimal inputs i think that's really quite good that's going to be a good margin um yeah that nitrogen fixation on some of these fields i think we're gonna to have to go through with a low disturbance subsoil and a set of discs before the following wheat crop um, because there is quite a bit of compaction in some of these but yeah happy on to the next just combining the last bit of oats today this was the stuff that we re-drilled after um, drilling in February when it flooded in March so it's just a couple acres left we thought we'd just nip over from the farm just to cut um, I mean it's going to be probably a combined tank full for the whole lot but I mean it's going to be half an hour's work so we might as well um, but that'll be all the combining finish of this year apart from one more field of my intercropping trials which hopefully might have a little crack at tonight uh, but we'll see if not get on with it. That is one and a half, two ton, maybe even two and a bit, so worth going back and getting. <laughs> 